Hi, this is a demo for the location match feature. This happens to be a point map layer corresponding to the city column. So for any map, you can actually do a right click option and it actually presents you with an option for location matches. So once you click on that, it actually opens a dialog to inspect how well the data has been matched. So you can see that there is a tab for the current layer that you're on, which is the city layer. And it actually shows you what is a map layer that it got matched to. And using the drop down, you can actually choose another layer that you want to match. Also, there is actually a summary section which actually shows how many rows of data actually got matched to the map layer and how many issues were there, if at all there is any. So looking at the table, we have a few columns. The first actually shows the data. So the match column actually shows what is the data that actually got matched to in the GeoJSON of the map layer. In our case, the world cities. So if your data actually didn't match with any entry in the GeoJSON, then you're actually going to see a red indicator saying that there is a no match. Or if there was a match, but there was some sort of issue, you'll actually see a yellow warning indicator. This does not necessarily mean that it was a bad match, just it wasn't a perfect match. So maybe the user would want to review these cases. So the next column is actually the match quality column, which is used to quantify how good that match was. The rows are actually sorted from the worst to the best matches scenario. So the, qual the match quality column could be better explained by the use of the filter options in the match. So when you click on the filter, it actually brings you a bunch of options. The first one is actually the good matches, which are 100% perfect matches. And we quantify uh, in the match quality by saying 100% confidence that there was an exact match with the entry with the data of the map layer. So the next option is actually called the all issues option, which actually encompasses the bottom three options, which are the partial match, multiple match, and no matches. So a partial match could be you got a part of the word exactly right. So for example, in here, Tel Aviv actually got matched partially with Tel Aviv, Yafo, Israel. So in this case, what we show for the match quality is a percentage of how close the two strings were. So the multiple matches are the ambiguous cases. So here we tell the user how many matches that the data was actually matched to in the GeoJSON. So in this case, maybe the user would want to match Barcelona with Barcelona in Spain. This is actually telling the user to actually add country data to the location edge to actually resolve this conflict. So and finally, the one we have is the no match, which we quantitatively say that there is a no match with the map layer's data. So lastly, we actually have the remove column allows us to exclude entire rows of data. You can actually choose the rows that you want to remove by clicking on the checkbox here. So in this demo, I'm actually going to choose Columbia. And then you can actually choose the option, which is either select all or you can exclude the rows of data from the project scope, the canvas scope, or the visual scope. By default, it is a canvas scope, and I'm okay with having this row excluded in the canvas scope. I'm just going to press OK. So we can actually see a filter that got created at the canvas level scope for the data that we selected for exclusion. So let me actually add more data to the location edge. So I'm going to add country and by adding this, I've actually added more information. When we open the location match dialog, the number of issues that we see should have actually come down when compared to the previous round. So let us just go and verify that. So previously we had 19 issues. Now by adding more data, it actually got reduced to 12 issues. So finally for completion, we can actually have a lat long layer and we can see how the location match dialog looks for lat long layer. So when we open up the dialog, we actually see that the current layer that we are on is the latitude and longitude, and that is the active tab in the location match layer. So we can actually see that there is one less number of column uh, because we exactly know what is the point that we are trying to match to using our lat long layer. And the match column just says whether the entry is a valid entry for a lat long layer or not. So hopefully this gives a little more confidence in the data that the user is trying to match to and also gives ideas as to how the user can actually improve his data to make it match better with the map layer's data. Thanks for watching the video.